This tutorial shows you how to post files and links. Go to Post All Materials to add files and links. This first menu lets you view just files, links, or pods. Pods are covered in other tutorials. For teachers, the second menu lets you select which course to view, since materials may be different for each course. In admin mode, you can use this menu to, let, to select which school, or you can use this menu to view materials for all schools. Click Upload New to add a new file. You can upload files from your computer or Google Drive or Dropbox, or you can email the file. You can also create Juno docs, which are simple text files useful for syllabi and lengthy assignment instructions. They support only bold, italic, and underline. No other formatting or images. Note that files must be under 10 megabytes each. For videos, it's better to put them on sites like YouTube, then post a link instead of the video file. Once you've selected a file, you can select which courses to associate the file with or admins will select which schools. We'll talk about these other options shortly. To post a new link, click Upload New and then select New Link. Paste in the web address here, and then select the courses with which to share it. You can edit these settings for files and links at any time. Simply click and then choose the courses. You can also add a description, which students and parents will see. To organize your materials into folders, click Upload New and then select New Folder. Add the title here and then Save. Then click and drag files to add them to folders. You can check multiple items and add them to folders as well. You can also click and drag items in order to rearrange their order. To put the same file or link in more than one folder, first select it, then select Alias. This will create a new version of it, which can be added to a different folder. Since each course may have different materials, switch to each course using this menu to organize them separately, and likewise for schools in admin mode. At this point, your materials are associated with your courses or schools. But students and parents don't necessarily see them yet. There are several places to show your materials. Students and parents have a Materials tab here, where you can post general resources like syllabi and newsletters. They can click which course to view the materials, or click School Office to see those posted by administrators. To show your files and links on students and parents materials tab, simply click the icon in the show column. Or you can click the name of the file or link and then check either one of these boxes. Another place to show items is attached to a specific assignment. On the assignment screen, click attach then choose the file and attach. Another place is on their calendar screen. Go to the calendar, click a date, add a headline as well as text here, and then click attach. Or you can attach files and links to post in messages or forum. On this screen, click the paper clip and select materials. You may post as many files as you want. Click a file and then here to delete it. Once deleted, you'll be able to access the file for 14 days in the trash. If necessary, you can undelete it from here. Note that in admin mode, the materials are associated with the school and can be edited by all school administrators with the appropriate permissions. But in teacher mode, Materials are separate for each teacher.